Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. You may have recently seen this post about machine learning agents being added to Unity. And this is, I think, somewhat experimental feature, but it's also really, really cool. So it took me a while to get it working and set up. So I wanted to do this video to help everybody else who's trying to get this thing working in Windows you know, with Unity and, and make the process a little bit easier. So here you can see it actually running in the editor and it's actually working. We have the ball balancing. The training's already done. My training file's right here. So now I'm gonna take you through the process of setting it up and show you some of the issues that I ran into, how I fixed them, and uh, how you can get this all going. The whole process takes about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more or less, depending on your computer speed. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first thing you'll need is the NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. So if you go just directly to the page, it'll try to give you version nine. When I used version nine, nothing worked. I had to go back, uninstall it, and switch back to eight. So I'd recommend going with version eight, make sure that it actually works, and grab uh, this one right here. So it was uh, 8.0 GA2. And again, you can find this on in developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA dash toolkit dash archive. All right, so I'm gonna download this file. I select Windows, select Windows 10. And then there's an executable local version or network. Uh, the network one just streams the download during the install. The exe local one just pulls everything down at, all at once in your download and then does the install. You can pick whichever one. I just went with the network install. And now then you just select uh, that you want the base installer, download that, and kick it off. So, so once your download completes, just launch the installer allow it to extract to a temporary folder and then you'll get the nice little installation dialog. Now it's important to make sure that you have Visual Studio and Unity closed. If you have either one of them open when you're running the installer it'll fail and closing them while the in like middle of the install doesn't seem to work so it'll pop up and tell you to close them and if you do it w without restarting the installer, it'll just keep telling you that they're open. It doesn't seem to refresh correctly. So make sure that you close Unity, close all your Visual Studio instances before running this installer. So here we go, we hit agree to and continue. I just went with the express settings, it seemed to work great. And check the box that, it said that I didn't have Visual Studio installed or it wasn't gonna do Visual Studio integration. And that's fine, it's just because I'm using 2017 and this version only does Visual Studio integrations up to 2015, but we don't need that for what we're doing here. So I just check the box, hit next, and that's where the dialog would have appeared if I had a Visual Studio or Unity open when I launched the installer, by the way. Be right about here. So then we just wait for it to go. It's a pretty long install process. It'll flash the screen a couple times as it updates GPU drivers. Um, if your drivers are all the way up to date, maybe it won't do that, but just be prepared to wait. Don't try to play a game or do anything that's gonna need you to be able to see your screen because it will turn off a couple times during the installation. So after a while, you'll get right about here. Again, if you have 2015, it should show up as installed or 2013 or 12 or 10. Like I said, with 2017, it doesn't show up here. So it'll just say it's not installed. And we'll just hit next. And then um, you can enable or check these if you want. I just uncheck them unless you want a shortcut and you want to launch GeForce Experience. And then close it up. Now the next thing you need to install is the CUDA Deep Neural Network Library or CUDNN. And we do need a specific version, but before you can download it, You'll need to create an account on the NVIDIA site. There'll be a little login button here or create account. Create that, it only takes a minute or two, it's totally free. And then once you're done, you can click on the download button here and then agree to terms. And you need to make sure that you select the correct version. So the only version that actually works with this, at least from everything I've tested so far, is version six for CUDA 8. So this is the April 27, 2017 version. So just download this. So you click on it and then the install is right here. CUDNN 6.0 library for Windows 10. So just grab that, let it download. And this one was relatively small, about 100 megs. Now we need to open this up and you'll see in here we have a CUDA folder with three subfolders. And what I need to do is copy these folders 
over my existing ones. Now the existing ones are from the CUDA installer, the first one that you just ran, and they should be in program files, uh, NVIDIA, GPU Compute Toolkit, CUDA, and then there's an 8.0 folder. And here you'll see we have a bin and include and a lib folder. And I just need to copy those directly over. So I'll just let's shrink that down a little bit. Just grab these, drop them right over, and copy and let it replace the files. There we go. Hit replace. It's going slightly slower than normal. Not a big deal though. Once it finishes, let's see. There we go. I don't know why that took so long. Should be pretty quick for you though. First time I did this, it only took a couple seconds. Now we need to edit some environment variables. If you're not sure how to do that, you can just hit the Windows key and start typing path and you'll see edit system environment variables right here. Now I'll click on the environment variables button right here and we can see the user variables and the system ones. The first thing that I need to do is add a CUDA home variable. So I just hit new, give it a name of CUDA underscore HOME. I believe these are case sensitive so make sure that you match. And then this just needs to be this exact path here, the same as the CUDA path. Actually what I'm going to do is cancel, I'm going to hit edit, I'm going to copy that path right there, hit new. Again, CUDA home and paste that in. Then hit OK. Now I need to scroll down until I find the path. Right here, the path variable and edit this. We need to add two more folders to our environment path. So we're going to, well, we're going to be starting in this CUDA folder again. And I already have that on my clipboard. So I'm just going to hit new and then we'll paste it in. And we want to be adding the lib slash x64 folder and then we need to add again paste and it's extras slash cup oops, cup ti slash lib x64 and hit ok now we hit ok again and one more ok and then we're done with that now the next thing we need is Anaconda. This will handle our Python environment. So you just go to anaconda.com slash download and there's a Python 3.6 version. Just download this. I just clicked on the 64-bit graphical installer link right there. Hit save. And this one's a little bit bigger. It's about half a gig. And then once it's done downloading, we'll kick it off. Cool. So now we'll go through the installer. Just hit next. I agree. I installed for all users. I'm not sure if it matters, but it seemed like a good idea. Went with the default folder, and then it does say this is not recommended, so I didn't do it, and just left the defaults right here. Hit install, and let it run. This one was relatively quick install. All right, once that install finishes, which is longer than I remembered, about 10 minutes, just hit next and uncheck these two boxes and hit finish. So once your installer finishes, you should be able to just hit the Windows key, start typing A and A and have the Anaconda prompt appear. Just click on that and the prompt should just load right up. It takes about a second or two. Now the first command that we need is to set up our environment. So we're gonna type conda create dash n then give it a name of tensor tnsor flow dash gpu and then we need to specify the python version so do python equals 3.5.2 hit enter and it'll create this environment there we go it's going to ask me if i want to proceed i just hit y and enter to let it do the setup so i think this took a few minutes the first time it's downloading a bunch of stuff and setting up a couple hundred meg environment oh that's faster than i remembered so that's good so we've got the environment set up uh, the next step is to activate it so we do activate tensor flow dash gpu it's just matching that previous name and now we need to do pip install tensorflow-gpu 
And this is one of the first places I ran into issues. So making sure that you have the path exactly correct and the correct versions of the CUDNN and the CUDA framework. Again, when I ran this with 9.0 or CUDNN 5.1, both of those would fail right at this step, at this install step. Now I was able to kind of work around them and then run into other errors later, but this is uh, following, following the steps here, this should all just work and be totally error free. So I think this may be the part that I was thinking of that did the downloading and larger install, not, not the first step that I just said a second ago. And you'll see this right here, uninstalling HTML5 lib. This caused me another error, but there's a way to fix this. So I'll give you the command for that as soon as we get to it. But this was causing this, I don't know why it's doing the uninstall here, but whatever it was caused everything to break. It's almost done, I think. Okay. So now we just type Python, start up a Python environment, and then do import TensorFlow as TF. And if there are no errors, we shouldn't get an error message, and we're good to go. So this part is all set up. All right, the next thing you'll need to do is grab the ML Agents project from Unity's GitHub page at github slash unity-technologies slash unity or ml-agents. So you can clone this or download it. I've done both. So if you're used to Git, just clone the repo and you're good to go. Otherwise, you can just download it. I have it now in a folder just called ML Agents off the root of my C drive. So I want to open up an Anaconda prompt here. So I'm going to type Anna, just like that. And then I'm going to change directory to that folder and the actually the Python subfolder in there. So let's go cd slash ml-agents slash Python. Now I want to type pip install dot. Now the first time I ran this, I got an error message just like this saying cannot import HTML lib5. And I was a little bit stuck, not quite sure how to fix it. But then I came across this little fix. So just type conda install dash dash force HTML5 lib. So I said that wrong the first time. And then this seems to grab the package and fix it so that our install will work. There we go, we hit yes to accept. So now we'll run it again. And with some luck, everything will just work. There we go. It's making some progress. Cool, so that's all done. Took a couple retries there just from file permissions that I had previously installed. Just had to run this uh, Anaconda prompt as an administrator, fixed it all up. So make sure that when you launch Anaconda prompt, just right click, just like this, go Anaconda prompt, right click and hit run as administrator. So this should get you all the way through the setup, um, have everything kind of in a place where you're ready to start building out the first sample project. You can grab the instructions for the sample project up on the Unity site, the getting started with the balance ball example. I'm also going to do another video showing how to run through this. It's relatively simple though and the instructions are I think pretty well defined here but again I'll just do another quick video to show it all visually so everybody can see how it's done. I did get a little bit caught up um, right on the last part but minor issue. Again I'll show that soon. Um, hopefully this is helpful. Like I said I ran into issues along the way mostly with versions. Uh, paths not being exactly correct and then um, you know installing a lot of it was just installing incorrect versions versions that were great for everything else but they don't work well either for Windows 10 or for unity specifically unity we have to have very specific versions for that it seems so again hope this helps if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe get notified when the next video comes out on setting up that first uh, test environment and uh, thanks for watching.